<laughs> so, tell uh, me about these players, though. So, Outcast and Hayes, uh, two proliferant rivals, one players. Uh, Outcast is a very solid Crag player. Okay. And Hayes, a Claren. So we got one. We, we got one. I am very, very certain that Hayes is playing Claren. So there is no shot on planet Earth that she is not playing Claren. That's super exciting. So we've gotten to see every character. Don't make then me so a liar. Far. Don't do this. Don't do this to I me. I wanted to know what the Rivals 1 matchup looked like between these two characters. <sighs> but now we're going to get some pedestrian crag and maple. It's derivative, <sighs> Anti. I don't know if I want that. I want to see the sword person. I think this is my fault. I think it's your fault, too. You know, uh, we were having a great time. I was talking to Hayes. I said, yeah, I heard from a lot of Claren players they didn't really like the Claren in Rivals 2 because there's slight differences in terms of the timings and other okay. things like that. So it's samey enough that it feels alien, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and I followed it up with saying, I know a lot of them said they liked Maple. So <laughs> this might actually be my fault. But either way... Outcast right now, not really minding as mm -hmm. we're just getting right into the thick of things. And look at this skin from the crag, man. I I might be changing my opinion on this character yeah. now that I see this one. That's cool. Yeah, the, the one of the things I love about the skin is that you also have colors for each of the skins. Uh -huh. like, you have the skin itself, and then you get the colors on top of it. You have so many variations, and they're all so, so well designed. Okay. You Ooh, see the tether on the screen right there? That is the first successful parry we've seen on this block. Yeah, but either way, not going to amount to too, too much here. Rock throw from Outcast still going to work out just fine. That what in the world? so brave from Hayes. Why? Why would you even risk it? It's so scary. You plant the lily right there in the corner to protect you for a little bit longer, but the back throw is going to put you just right on the other side in edge guard position. Yeah, I mean, right now you can see Outcast is in so much trouble here. <gasps> That's like three special getups yeah. in a row. Yep. Oh, and it's a death too, okay. Uh, I mean, just trying to parry the Lily there. You know, the classic rivals uh, thing, sort of counterplay yeah. that you have to do, but it, because parry comes out on a different frame in this game, um, it, it's so much harder to time. Right. We'll see players, of course, adapt to that as the game progresses, but as for right now, it's looking like block is the option of choice right here. Looking for a parry right there, though, is Hayes. Yeah, down strong, going to cover every single tether option. And Outcast in, you know, not in the lead part by any means, but still not out. Yeah, Hayes a little bit in the driver's seat right now. Outcast wondering where the Uber driver's taking her. Let's see. Yeah, I will also note, Hayes does have a melee background in Mars. That's right, okay. You know, I, I guess her familiarity with shields and such makes a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, Outcast in so much trouble. They're not going to be able to get the wall jump just so far down. And Hayes now just trying to run away with this lead. Let's see. And again, great, yeah, the positioning again with the implications of shield, right? The soft cross-up that you can go for is just go for the back of the shield, and there's just not a lot of options that players have to counter hit out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, meanwhile, you know, Outcast is just doesn't have other games in terms of a background, but has so much practice in Rivals. I mean, right. even went for a tilt boost in neutral. Uh, I wasn't even certain you could still do that in this game, but thank you for answering my question, Outcast. <laughs> um, okay. A little nervous here. Watcher's Mark still is applied as the back throw comes through. Hayes just sharking for the opportunity to find it as this mark just presents more and more of a scary situation. Off the top right here, not going to happen. Yeah, not quite able to get those ups there. And, you know, Outcast in a lot of trouble. Poppy not even going to be needed. Just the down strong already seals it all out. Yeah, and I really love the... Uh, I know you had mentioned we saw a billion special get-ups mm -hmm. in a row from both of these players, but it is really cool to see the 50-50s that get presented yeah. because of that, right? High percent from Hayes means it's like, yeah, I get a grab, I'm special pummeling you. Mm -hmm. This is happening. You're going for a ride with me. Yeah, but, I mean, either way, you know, once you're at those higher percents, Maple Up Throw gets so much crazier, mm -hmm. right? Because if you're already marked, then that Up Throw means that you could just get a lead into so much more damage. Ooh. Speaking of which. Yeah, I love the special get up there from Hayes. The Hurt Box just avoiding that entire interaction from Outcast entirely. Really good stuff so far. Yeah, I mean, up throws into so much up air. Hang on, hang on. 
Okay, Rock Throw is going to present a little bit of space between these two, but again, the shield grab comes through on the lazy approach from Outcast. Yeah, I mean, Lily just covering so much space, and another wrap going to be foiled by the second hit of Maple Downstrong. Hayes was reading for something right there, but now Outcast gets some pressure coming through up tilt. Not going to convert into too much more. Yeah, up tilt from Hayes, on the other hand, still not going to kill such a heavy boy Crag is. Ooh, up tilt, up air, not gonna get another one right there, but one more hit might do it, just barely missed it. All right, back air, up, B, still no kill. Oh my lord, what have they been feeding you, Craig? Wow, and, and Haze too, man, <laughs> look at this. Okay, just going out at 152, but look like any of those strong aerials out of Outcast could have done it. It's gonna be the whip from Haze to even it right back up at two apiece. Yeah, I mean, right there, you're seeing the dash tag cancels into the jabs, into the tilts. And Outcast just going to continue with the tried and true frag combos from Rivals 1. And again, I really love that interaction from Hayes. The awareness to go for a special getup right there because it just physically moves the maple out of the way of the down B that uh, Outcast wants to go for is really, really good. That being said, Outcast has a huge oh. lead now. Yeah, I mean, that down air comes in clutch for Hayes there. But the pummel not going to do much. And just goes for another? Mm hmm. All right, Poppy on deck. Let's see it. Scary by the ledge here, but the rolls get reversed. Hayes finds themselves in the corner and down a stop. Yeah, but right here, Outcast still taking a lot of damage. The rock and the pillar are placed so unbelievably well to be able to tech in these scenarios. I mean, okay. a lot of the time you'll have rock place to, you know, be able to tech off of to survive, you know, these purple, you know, kills. Yeah. But Outcast not quite getting the opportunity. Wait, this is insane. Yo, Terry, get around this. Watch this mix. Okay, miss tech right here means Outcast gets a ton more damage. It is so scary. One more up air is gonna be real close. Yeah, I mean, another up air doesn't quite go for a second one. And, I mean, it might not be a special Ooh. getup, but oh my lord! Just slams those fists down and Hayes flies off into the distance. Took a ride into the loving arms of the Green Beetle. Yeah. Evened up in the set right here. You think we see the Claren? Oh, maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm hearing things, but I think it's the stages. I think it is the stages. Uh, Give us the Claren. Give us the Claren. Come on. I'm counting on you, Hayes. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on. Give us the Claren. We almost we almost had every character on this block, Anti. I want to yeah. I want to see it. We, we got I time. We got it. time. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe. All right, Air oh. Armada will be the counter pick right here. Starting off with a little bit of peg right there into the mark, but Outcast took offense to that. 50% right out the gate. Yeah, I mean, 2%, a little bit of a love peck, but that is a lot of loving in return. Okay. The connections, I am familiar with this game. If you've seen Rivals 1, 85% already coming through on Hayes. Yeah, up throw, up tilt, up airs. Like Hayes is just going straight for every upper move in the world Tether here. Tether still applies, a 50-50 comes through. It's the up air, not gonna be off the top. That is a heavy boy. Yeah, I mean, Air Armada Blast Zones just don't seem to be nearly as close as in the first one, but the side Blast Zones are as close as you could ask. All right, here we go. Outcast with the reply stock, perhaps. It's not going to happen just yet, but the forwarders keeps this edge guard sequence going. Yeah, you've got all these shards working in Outcast's favor. Ooh, dicey roll right there from Outcast. Hayes could have punished that huge, but here comes the grab now instead off the knockdown. All right, back throw from Outcast. Oh, oh! Not critically quite. timed tech right there to actually avoid that was so good from Hayes. Yeah, not quite the DI that Outcast might have been looking for, but I mean, you can see the man's cooking. Mm -hmm. Up throw. Hayes cooking as well. Pressure a little bit lazy in front of the shield. Finds a shield grab, but not too much more. Yeah, I mean, Terry does so much work in allowing, in just opening up Maple's offensive combo game. Because, you know, 
even if you don't have a tether, you can just go straight to Terry on that ledge. Right. Uh, which means that all of a sudden, you can go for a super deep combo. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the tether comes around the back. It looked like Outcast had that one scouted out, but was a little bit too slow. Yeah, Rars for the bear there, but not quite going to be able to do much more than that. Back throw has Haze offstage 180% is not where you expect the maple to be. The double roll from Hayes too just shows how scary of a position this is, but advancing forward now is the maple. Oh! Yeah, it's I'm, so scary. It's, it's just so, so scary. scary. Outcast just doesn't seem to be looking for a grab just yet. Oh, turns me into liar immediately. Wow, missed tech there from Outcast and the read on the roll in, but spot dodge finds some space to breathe. Oh no! The Triple jab? That killed? I mean, you're at a high percent. I get it. I I mean, if you're at 200%, just a stiff freeze could kill. But yeah. <laughs> either way, Outcast is going to be very happy with that one and very unhappy with this one. Oh, yeah. First successful parry punish we've gotten to see on this block anti. <gasps> Uppy was reaching a little bit for the stars, but it's not going to connect or find the kill. So we find one more neutral interaction once again. Yeah, I mean, we see the shards coming out again from Outcast. You know, it's the same kind of play that we expected from him in Rivals 1. And, I mean, if at first, like, if it, if it works, then, you know, oh my God. why change it? That shield was looking uh, cracked up. Nice kill off the top with the tether. Slingshotting their way into it, and a little oh, bit of advantage. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, fun little change that you can do in Rivals 2 is you can actually hit Lily. Uh, in Rivals 1, the only thing you could do was parry it. Okay. Uh, so many players are just taking the time to vent out their frustrations now that you can actually interact with Lily. Ooh. Trying to wait out the invincibility from Outcast as they got onto the ledge. Hayes yeah. now with a little bit of an advantage can close it out right here on this tiebreaker game. Yeah, I mean, these up airs doing so much work. The up tilts as well. Up tilt fair. Oh my gosh, and Hayes is stage. reading everything. Oh my god. Hayes did all that without a tether anti. Said, I don't even need the slingshot. Forget my tools. Eat these normals. <laughs> aerial on aerial on aerial. You know, I mean, that's the Rivals classic. So much of the time, you're just like, man, I'm still in hit stun. Yeah. This hurts. Yeah, this I don't hurts like it. a lot. I want to leave. And, and they're going to leave, leave game three. All right. Very tiny stage here. Tempest I mean, Peak. Craig is rubbing his really craggy hands together mm -hmm. on this one. Should be early kills, ideally, is the name of the game. We don't want to see Hayes living to 200% anymore. Yeah, and it's honestly super fun to see the new Tempest Peak. In Rivals 1, this was the biggest stage in the game mm -hmm. by a long shot, and everyone hated it. <laughs> uh, Australia literally bans Tempest Peak in their region, the only region in the world that bans a stage. That's beast. So now here they were like, what if we made it really small? What if we changed it entirely? <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. but right here, I mean, Hayes still in a, quite a bit of control despite being at the percent deficit. Okay. Mark is still applied, which again just leaves a really concerning question mark on the side of Outcast. When's it going to get launched? It's right there. Just for a little bit of advantage, though. Ooh. The oh, alley oop right. into Lily. Excuse me. Says, catch these hands. Yeah, but here we go. Outcast just going to set up these shards again and again and again, but actually getting the kill, you've got the special pummel, but not much more than that. Mm -hmm. The most of the special pummel we've seen was from Ion earlier today, but oh. for the up strong, no, not quite. And there we go. Very hard read there from Outcast. Finds the stock regardless. Bouncing off the pillar right there is going to get set up for just a moment. Here comes a little bit of a combo right there. Reading the roll incorrectly as well, but advantage still to Outcast. Oh. What? We got chain grabs? We got reads? Uh, we got chain grabs out the wazoo, it seems, but right here, Hayes in a lot of trouble as Outcast is starting to come alive. Oh, wow. Goes over the top of Hayes' counter hit option right there is Outcast. Really, really good stuff. The special is just so damn slow, Anti. Yeah, I mean, it's slow, it hits hard, but you don't need a hard hit to get a kill. Like, Respect and speed a little bit more. Hayes can close this out right here with one more sock, see if Outcast has anything to say about it. 
And Hayes just going to sneak right back on stage, just trying to get as much extra credit as possible. But I don't know if she read the syllabus or not. Outcast just isn't really offering much. Ooh, looking to perhaps cross up on the back of the shield, but Hayes finds that shield grab regardless once again. All right, back here's coming through. The once again, Outcast taking so much damage. I apologize for saying no extra credit. This is so much more. Okay, forward tilt will find a little bit here. Air dodge crucial to not get hit by that falling stone. Watch for rolling rocks, Hayes. Let's see. Oh, misses Kill the tech, there? but oh no, 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 no pillar, pillar. Hayes gonna take that one three to one off of it. Looked like Outcast was gonna be able to slowly start bringing that back. Yeah, I mean, no Claren in sight, but no Claren needed. Mm. I heard that. Hey, you were right. We can't blame you. Yeah. You were right after all. Maybe play Maple <laughs> to this matchup. <laughs> Until you get used to the Claren weirdness, maybe just play Maple. Yeah. Also, uh, Hayes has had a Claren, uh, a Maple on, as a secondary for a bit. Yeah. Uh, so it does make sense for her to be like, you know what? I'm also play some of the Maple. Um, that being said, I also noticed.